Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then my name is Jordana. And if not, then welcome and thank you for taking the time to watch my videos again. Today I'm gonna do a huge collab. This makes me super happy because I'm part of a panning community. That means that I, you guys have seen my project pan videos. I like to finish products that I already have and this year, except for last week that I went to the US and I went crazy shopping. I just did another haul and all I've been getting is PR and that's it but everything I've been using is products that I already have and I already hit my goal of $2,000 that I put out of my collection that I spent that I finished worth of makeup so this collaboration is the 12 pants of Christmas we have two months to finish 12 products before the holidays so far I think we have like 50 people involved just in YouTube and other people are doing it on Instagram I'm gonna leave the playlist link down below so that you guys can follow and have a binge watching project pan videos so without further ado let me show you the products that I chose for my 12 pants of Christmas also I wanted to say we were supposed to choose products that had something to do with movies, Christmas movies. So my favorite movies are The Holiday and Love Actually, but that wasn't on the list. So I didn't choose products for movies because I thought that was super, super hard. And I just chose 12 products that I really want to finish to move on to other products. It's just the way I am. I just wanted to finish products that I love and products that I don't love that were in my collection and are bugging me because I haven't finished them for one reason or the other. These tag was created by Jacqueline Lovine and she started it last year and this year it's super huge so thank you to her she's one of my favorite project planners for letting me be part of this collab and thank you to Melissa I'm gonna leave their channels down below for emailing her and adding me to the email list for this project plan so this is gonna be my intro I'm gonna show you the products that I want and then we're gonna do one update in one month the finale we're gonna do it during the holidays so that's it now, without further ado, let's go into the products. Okay, so I chose a little bit of everything, and the first product that I want to show you is the Brazilian Bomb Bomb Cream. I used this like twice, and I haven't really used more of it because I was just saving it and saving it. You guys know when you love a scent or a product and you just want to save it for special occasions and then you never use it. You always plan to use it ahead and that ahead never comes. So I plan to use this in these two months and I love the scent. So this is going to be an easy one to finish if I put my mind to it. The second one that I want to finish is the Pink Sun Kiss Bacay Body Mist by Victoria's Secret. You guys know that perfume for me, or if you're new to my channel, you don't know, but perfume, I love them, but they make me sick. For me to find a perfume that doesn't make me sick is, I don't know, it doesn't work. I haven't found the first one. So I always buy body mist and I douse myself in them. So I bought two bottles of this one, and this is what I have left of this one. This I bought during the summer, but I have backups of other body mists that I want to go through and I just want to change scents. It was a limited edition, but if I can find it, I will leave it down below because this scent is amazing. Also, you have to know that I'm more into sweet scents like vanilla or just girly, cookie, bakery type of scents. So this is one summery scent, but it's a scent that I would use all year round. The third product, this got sent to me by Octoly and by Terry. And this is the Estilo Expert Click Stick Hybrid Foundation Concealer. I use this as a concealer and that's what I'm planning on using it in. And this one I love. This is a regular concealer but you have to just click it to use it. The shade that I have is the 4.5 Soft Beige. And I actually love this. It's just that since it's by Terry and it's so expensive, I was just postponing the use of it but now that I have a reason to finish 12 products this is the concealer that I chose because the last project pants that I've been doing including the one that I'm on right now I use concealers that I hated I just wanted to get them out of my collection so for me for a project pan to be successful you have to choose products that you love so that you can finish them and be happy with it and not be frustrated that you're doing a project pan because if not you'll get bored super easy so that concealer is frankly brand new. I used it twice, one for a first impression and once for the publicity for Viteri since that's what they ask 
by sending me this concealer and this was my favorite by Terry product so this is the one that I chose for my project pan another product that I chose is the Sunbeam by Benefit this one I don't know how much it has left but I don't remember using it that often but I want to get it out of my collection because I want to get rid of almost every liquid highlight that I have. I think liquid highlighters are not something that I'm used to, are not something that I am obsessed with and that I use constantly. So getting rid of one will be something that will make me happier and that will help me to go through another one or just declutter some of them. And using this will help me choose between the ones that I have, which ones should I declutter or not or keep in my collection or use more or put in a project plan for next year. So yeah, this is the Sunbeam by Benefit and this is a deluxe size sample. So for my lips, I chose the Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter and this is the tiny tub. I love this. And I have another lip balm on my project pan and since I found this in... Okay. And since I rediscovered this, this is what I've been using. And I have left just... Not that much, but you guys know that for lip butters or lip balms you only need a tiny amount because lips are not that huge but I try to use it every day and like minimum of twice a day so the reason why I chose this is because if I don't go through this I will never go through the other one that I have in my project pan and that one is more expensive and I don't really want to finish it up but I want to just because of my project pan and because it's so expensive so this is gonna help me go through that one after I finish this. Another product that I have is the Chela Brow Definer or something like that. It's the Ivory Lace Highlighter and this is good for highlighting under your brows or just cleaning your brows in general. And all I have left is this. So it's not even the size of my finger and I wanna really go through this because I don't really use that. What I use is concealer to clean under my brows. So these products are gonna go to waste and I just wanna finish them. I've been trying to use it on my clients, but it's just a step that I forget because I always use concealer. So I don't need these type of products in my collection. So I just wanna get rid of it. These I'm gonna count as one product. So whatever the progress I make on this, it will work because I want to take this if I don't finish it this year to my next project pan and next year, maybe one that I'm gonna do with Melissa for spring. So this is gonna be the Bonjour by Too Faced palette. And this has been well loved because this is a palette that I even carry on my kit from time to time or sometimes it's the only palette that I use for bronzing and highlighting. I love it. And every Chocolate Soleil bronzer that I have, even if it comes in whatever palette Too Faced has, I always finish them. I recently just finished one of them and you guys can see the pan on this one is huge. I also love the Sun Bunny bronzer and I adore the Snow Bunny. I think that when I finish this one, I, I already have another one of these, but when I finish the Snow Bunny, I think I'm gonna buy it full size because it's one of those highlighters that nobody talks about, but it looks beautiful on the skin. You can have a pink shift to it or just a bronzy shift to it or even a lighter one and it looks stunning on the skin, it looks beautiful. So these three products I love, but my main focus are gonna be the Snow Bunny and the Chocolate Soleil because I'm not that into for every day a shimmery bronzer because I get oily super quick when I use one. So this palette, whatever progress I make, I plan on finishing this one next year, so whatever progress is gonna be just an advantage for me. Okay, so for mascara is the one that I have opened right now and I wanna add it to my project pan and I wanna mention it again and again in my channel. This is the first time I'm mentioning it because this mascara is the only one that has worked for me when I work out. You guys know, some of you don't, that I do heat training every day of the week. So five days a week I go work out and I always wear makeup. Even if it's a Tita Moisturizer, SPF with color, I always put mascara on, I always put my brows on and lip balm. Even if it's a light makeup, I always put makeup on and every mascara that I've been trying to work out smudges on me like crazy. But this one, it's amazing. I don't think this gets a lot of love. I've never heard of this one before. This is the Voluminous False Lashes 
waterproof hydrofuge and this is amazing in it doesn't budge even when I shower I have to remove it with uh, waterproof eye makeup remover because nothing takes this off even my bioderma doesn't take it off so it's that good and some people don't like waterproof mascaras for me they're a must because of the humidity of the city that I live in so for me mascara needs to last and this is amazing it also makes my lashes look beautiful I can say that they look fake because my lashes are not that long but they look prettier than with other mascaras this is this is now holy grail status for me. Okay, so my last purchases have been a lot of eyeshadow palettes. That means that I need to get rid of some. I'm already almost out of my Lorac 3 and that one I'm gonna just declutter. Because by now it looks like shit. So the other one that I wanna get rid of, it's the NARS and God created the woman palette. For me, this is a beautiful palette. And uh, it, it has been loved. It's already broken. You can see right here, but I don't care. But I want to heat pan on that one, the champagne one. I want to finish this one. That's my goal for this project pan, but also whatever use I give to the other four, I'll be happy to give it because next year this is going to be a panda palette type of video and as soon as I pan all the shades, I'm going to just declutter it from my collection because it's been a while. I have it since the first time it released and I know that it stayed for a while but I got it just the first time they released it and it was a brand new and just like it was in the new arrivals section so it's been a while this has years years but I know I love it and I adore these two shades so those are gonna be easy to use I just forget about it and always choose other palettes before this one but I'm gonna do my best to use this and this was like $62 or something crazy like that so using it up and removing it from my collection is gonna make me reach my goal that much quicker I have just three more products left and this is another one this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Lasting Liquid Foundation Oil Free SPF 20 and you can see right here where it's at because come on it, it looks half empty so I have half of this foundation left and this is gonna be easy but not that easy because this is an alcohol based foundation it looks beautiful on the skin but sometimes it can look cakey I don't know why and it's not a product that I can use every day because alcohol will take a toll in your skin I and mean, if you take care of your skin you don't want that you want it to be beautiful and glowy and pretty and whatever so that foundation will look it's stunning it will last all day it's super long wearing sometimes I get oily on my t-zone but that's normal for me but it's really long wearing and it works beautiful on the skin the coverage is amazing it's just that I want to get it out of my collection because I don't really want to have it sitting that long and I've had it for over a year so I just want to finish it because I'm opening room for new foundations and I'm also gonna do a foundation Friday on this one since I'm gonna be using it almost every day so that you guys can see uh, my thoughts on it and see if you want to get it another product that I have is the Tarte Sculptor and this is what I have on my face today as a contour and I have my Milk Makeup Bronzer and that one is the one that I want to use next year because I don't want it to go bad and that I'm obsessed with. So these I'm planning on using it and finishing. That's all I have left. So if any of these products I finish, I will bring new products to the project even, even if I don't finish those. So don't think that if I finish some products then I'm not gonna show you more products or replace them with more products. Because what I want to do is make this project pan work for me and the only... The only way to make a project pan work if is you finish more products than you plan to at the beginning. And the last product that I have here is my Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. And this is by Charlotte Tilbury. The line is right here. And you can see right there that I have a ton left because you only need a tiny amount to use this. And this is going to be great for the holidays. It looks beautiful in photograph. And it will maybe look better with the Shiseido foundation. And I want to take out some of my, the primers of my collection. The thing that almost everything that I have here has in common is that I love them. And I'm just not reaching for them. Except for my mascara. The only product that I don't really like 
is the that I love but I never use because I don't I don't find that I love using these types of products is the Chela uh, brow highlighter so yeah guys that's it for my 12 pens of Christmas I hope you guys love the products that I chose and if you want to do this either on Instagram or YouTube or you want to just do it at home you can send me pictures through my instagram i'm gonna leave my social media instagram facebook snapchat and twitter i'm also gonna leave the playlist of everyone that's doing this project pan down below and i'm gonna leave the list of the instagram panners down below this panning community is so beautiful so supportive everyone comments on everyone's videos everyone is cheering each other up and it's not like every other youtube family that almost everyone is criticizing you and making you feel awful and sometimes you get love but you get a lot of hate too this community is all about support if you love panning videos and you love using products that you already have and you also want in-depth reviews just go follow everyone on this panning list because project panners give the most intense and in-depth reviews you can ever get because when people are using their products up that means that they're not just doing a first impression and telling you what they think right away they sometimes do we sometimes do but mostly we use products that we love and that we stick to them till we finish them so we really have an opinion on them so that's it no more rambling. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow me on all my social media and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.